Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Hard West. Let's get started from the back door. Someone left his steam carriage near the eastern entrance. Then he snuck around the north, opened the church's back door. Well, okay. That's that then. I believe the end of last episode, we did outfit everyone with a little bit of everything. And so, with that, I think we should be just fine. We got some derringers. Double check on the cards. We're good on cards. Okay. Let's proceed to combat immediately. Get this going. Searching for information about the Plague of Madness, Solomon and the Persons arrived at an old church that had been converted into a mental asylum. It did not take long, however, for the inmates to mutiny. With the staff gone, it had descended into chaotic, lawless mess. <clears throat> okay, this ought to be interesting. The church was now a makeshift asylum, but it appeared the inmates had taken over. The madmen guarding the doors all wore deputy badges that read Turner. Delir wondered where Gilmer's office had been. Probably upstairs, he grumbled. Only Delir knew how to identify the files. He would need to go there personally. Well, that sounds interesting. We'll see if we can find it. Oh, no half cover here standing behind a mannequin? <laughs> Well, start moving. Okay, they are everywhere, so when we move inside, we will be surrounded here. Something to keep in mind. We will be surrounded here. If you shot, 37 is not the best shot in the world. Uh, it's a little bit better to 44. Well done. All right. B person. Be a person. Take it wide. No, don't see anybody? You've still got the golden bullet, but nowhere to shoot, I think. Oh. All right, sure. Megaloman, mad woman. We don't even know, really. Like, all we can do is know that she's there. We don't actually see her at all. But I'll take it. That worked out really well. Go ahead and make your way to here. I think this ought to be fine. We have two people immediately start working their way upstairs. Good covering fire for sure. So what's up? Nothing so far. Well, if you made your way upstairs, what would you find? Nothing much. That's fair. Go and make your way over here then, and we'll pay, make sure to pick up another reload here. So I imagine the benefit of coming in through the back door is you don't have to fight as much. Like the all the enemies are going to be like out in here and, and whatnot, while we're sitting inside the building, all nice and safe. Don't give me a reload. I don't want to move too much for fear of accidentally, you know, screwing myself over. Only Solomon can do that. Uh, it does. So when it says Solomon, it means Solomon. Okay. Well, that certainly changes how we'll approach the mission. Oh. That sense, though. That sense, though. Go ahead and pull this up. We can use that as double cover. You've got Ricochet. I don't foresee that actually being beneficial here. Where's Solomon? Solomon Delir. Sir. That's where you're moving. Full speed ahead, man. Full speed ahead. We don't want to move too much. Obviously, we are rather safe where we are in general. So let's not worry about doing too super much that we can't recover from, you know? Just make sure we stay safe. Safe and sane is what we're trying anyways. I think we're good to 
just, just sit here. They'll probably come inside. We want to be ready. We're moving out that way. No problem. As far as I'm concerned, they don't even know we're here. There we go. Grabbing notes. Very good. Grabbing notes. Good stuff. Next turn, we can finish. No one seems to care super much about what we're doing, so unless we're required to kill everybody, we can just leave. Delir searched the room and found documents bearing Trumercliff's insignia. Delir carefully removed the research data. To his dismay, it triggered an alarm. Ha! The bell clamored incessantly as Turner's psychotic deputies swarmed after Delir. His back against the wall, Delir's only option was to escape via steam carriage. Eerily, Mr. Persons repeated his pledge to protect Delir's life at all costs. Well, that'll be fun. That's ah, real fun. I'll make sure that Mr. Persons up here stays with Delir. Make sure Mr. Persons has uh, has a chance to make sure he can give up his life for Delir. Paranoic madman or Turner deputy? You know, the madman's closer. But... I don't know that it matters. We'll take out the madman. He's closer. Bye-bye. <laughs> it is such a load of crap that we get to do that. I love it. It's such a load of crap. Oh. It's fantastic. Some bodies out there. Fair enough. Uh, about a ricochet, is that? No valid targets. So I was kind of hoping I could ricochet off of that, but it says no valid target. Is it ricochet and then hit this guy sort of thing, but that's okay. Just chill. <clears throat> what do we got? We clean? We clear? What's up? What's dappening? We have no idea. Fantastic. Well, that's your best options to go out here. Hey, what's up, man? Hi. Bye. Very good. So we can always move down if we wanted to. There's really no cover out here, though. That's the problem. We'll see what we see. That's problematic. That is definitely problematic for Mr. Persons. If you go here, you might be able to help him out, though. Yeah, now you can. Good luck. Oh, that's not a miss we needed. It's a very bad miss. We do not need to see something like that. Make your way around the corner, Mr. Persons. Shoot a Delir? Nope. <laughs> Woo! Good miss. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna do you much good there, sir. We do have the scope. Don't forget, we do have scoped shots. Dude only has 3 HP. I mean, take the Derringer on him. Well done. That was easy enough. Then you can get in this guy's face, but I imagine there will be more enemies nearby. Find out shortly. No, well, not really. All right. Bye-bye. We're curing the madness, everybody. We're curing the madness. That's what we're doing. You're in the madness. Don't worry. We'll get you out safely, Solomon. Mr. Persons is on the job. Go, go, go! We got you covered from all angles. I think we killed everybody, actually. <laughs> With how fast that went, I think we actually just killed everybody. But, 
It doesn't hurt to pull that up. Moving on up. As long as we don't see anybody, there's no reason why we can't take some reloads, you know? Alright, we'll slip around. Give me a reload. Nice and tasty lack. Shotgun really needs it. Yeah, with how fast the turns are flipping by, there's there's no enemies on the map. That could not have been easier. <laughs> Go protect the carriage. Get it started, Mr. Persons. We'll meet you there. Don't worry. We'll meet you there. There you go, save zone. Go, go, go! That was easy. Well, now what? Solomon leaped into his steam carriage, hotly pursued by Turner's men. It was the same bunch of lunatics that had been in the laboratory when he first arrived there. He was horrified by the ferocity. Clearly, they thought of themselves as lawmen. Between their lack of fear, Turner's leadership, and their sheer numbers, they had rapidly dominated the region. He hoped the documents from the asylum would shed some light on the madness and its source. Go to the laboratory to analyze the data. Blueprint, Trumer Cliff's notes. All right, sure. We need to get our engineering skill up anyways. Solomon, Solomon remained in Trumer Cliff's old laboratory. He had truly made it his own now. Well, let's start some research first. We have some blueprints. Let's work towards, well, actually, hang on. Do we need blueprints for analyzing the data? We'll analyze the data. Documents displayed a clear pattern. When patients entered the asylum, they typically got better and went back home. There, their symptoms inevitably worsened and they would return worse off than before. The same effects seemed to happen to Trumer Cliff himself. The process was highly unusual. Father Gilmore was determined to find out if there were other areas affected by the plague in other parts of the country. Railroad station. Swamp and ranch seer hut. Ranch and a seer hut. Ranch seer hut. No, no, no. Engineering. So, sure. There's a blueprint. More engineering. We have no more. Nail bomb and the ocular. Dude, the ocular is so worth it. Ocular is so good. Okay. Level 2 engineering. The railroad station's way up here. So not... Not the railroad train, the derailed train. The station. So where's the seer hut and the ranch? I'm not sure. It's cool looking, right off the map. All I see is the railroad station. Oh, there's the ranch. There's the okay. We found them. We found them. And the swamp as well. Well, we can't go to the giant clock yet. We'll go to the swamp. See what's up. The murky swamp was the last place where Trimmer Cliff had been seen before vanishing. Curious about his fate, Solomon searched the area briefly, finding a message carved onto a tree in the middle of the bog. I'm at the edge of my sanity. The source must be close now, heading north. Solomon chewed ginseng to improve his eyesight and thoroughly searched the swamp. Solomon did a thorough excavation, searching for the body. While he did not find his fellow inventor's corpse, the ginseng enhanced eyes did notice a tube bearing Trimmer Cliff's insignia. It contained a blueprint for a device. Nice. We received a blueprint. Well, he, he probably fell in the river and he's way downstream now, honestly. Well, let's go to the railroad station. What's up there? Someone found an abandoned telegraph station and train yard. Official reports and private letters lay scattered everywhere. Solomon guessed a wealth of information must be hidden in those papers. Some might even hint at how far the madness had spread. Begin the research. 
Well, Solomon read everything he could get his hands on. The persons guarded the telegraph station. The first round of documents he read were worthless, but Solomon continued determined not to miss any clue. He hoped his zealousness would not allow Turner's men to get a drop on him. Well, sounds like they did. Delve deeper. We'll have two combats in one mission. One episode. It's crazy. The endeavor took several days. It was endlessly frustrating. Solomon considered walking away at many points. None of the letters from the neighboring states mentioned anything about the plague. Solomon felt he was missing something important. He was exhausted, but still carried on, reading far into the night. Fun. We have nothing new other than some cards. Queen, Jack, and King of Clubs. We could have a royal flush here. We took the Ten of Clubs away from Mr. Persons. Ace of Clubs, Ace of Hearts. Ten of Clubs. Here's an Ace. King. Queen. Jack. Royal Flush, plus 3 HP. And you have the Golden Bullet, so plus 10 luck is definitely exactly what you need. And you're a Crippler, which is fantastic, so... Alright. Well... Ah, here we go. Extra luck and a bloodstain shirt. We'll predict, protect from cri crippling injuries. And then Mr. Golden Bullet here gets 50 more luck. So he has three Golden Bullet shots now. Dude. Wreck face, please. Solomon's investigation of the Plague of Madness led him to a railway station and a telegraph hub. After spending days reading through the logs, his posse came under attack. Solomon found himself in a maze of trains and stations. The scattered notes he'd found rearranged themselves into a giant telegraph hub. The Pinkertons stared at him with hollow eyes, listless and lethargic. When he finally heard Trimmercliff's voice telling him to find his answers, Delir realized he was dreaming. Well, that's fun. Collect all the notes. Only with Solomon, though. Solomon's the only one that can. Oh! We found him. Alright, well, hopefully that doesn't lead to you dying. It shouldn't. We can do this. What's up, everybody? Nightmare of Insanity. You can hit him, but it wouldn't do super much. Probably end up taking the shot anyway. Solomon Delir, we need you to to get your butt moving. Let's go. You'll have plenty of cover and plenty of health. Well, scoot up. And for our safety, we will need to tear into this this guy right here. I think he's the one that's more dangerous. Well done. Derringer, you did your job. Which means we can take a pot shot at this guy. Nice hit. They should start with max luck anyway, so it shouldn't have actually changed anything. Aha! Uh -huh. What now, sir? What now? Alright, let's be as speedy as reasonable here. Of course, our first shot can come to the Nightmare of Insanity here. Really? That is unfortunate. It's okay. We have another Derringer. We're fine. Thank you. Mr. Persons. Move on up. I need to know he's safe. This is how we'll know he's safe. Delusion. <laughs> Nicely done. Alright, give me a reload. You see an enemy? You do. Where'd you come from? That is concerning. Just get closer. <laughs> Intimidated and jinx. That's fun. 52% chance. 
59% chance. Well, good job. Solomon Delir, you did your job. He's actually as effective in combat right now as anyone else because he's got the, the Royal Flush. All right, full steam ahead. We're going to find somebody, I'm sure. No. Interesting. Scoot up. Where are our opposition? Also, if I could get you up high, that'd be amazing. But that does not seem like it's going to happen. Get you closer. Anything? You do see somebody. Yep. Well, and I imagine your uh, shotgun's not going to have a great shot. No, it has a better shot. Wow. Okay, sure. Nice. Another one bites the dust. Well done. Well, no use for a golden bullet yet. Just stay aware. We might need it. Huh. Oh. Go here. It puts you out in the open. You can see more. So, first note. Oh my. That's terrifying. It was clear to Delir now. The madness existed only within this region. Shroomercliff's voice urged him to find more clues. Great! We're insane. We are so thoroughly insane. This is wonderful. Well, we have the golden bullet. It kind of seems like maybe we should kill this guy. You know? It seems like a good idea. Awesome. Okay. So, feel a little bit safer. Not much, but, you know, whatever you can do to sleep at night, right? Oh, my goodness. How would you even get back in there? That doesn't make any sense. Right here. That makes zero sense. Well, I guess we are in a nightmare, aren't we? Another demon. Oh, hello. You are a fool, sir. Whew, I was afraid he'd shoot us. Okay. Give me a reload. And we're looking actually at a Derringer kill here. Cool. That was easy. It's going to take several turns to get across this map. So I don't know if we can spend the time that it takes to fight this guy. Especially when we have persons who might be able to do it for us. Uh, it's unlikely. We'll put persons over here. You unfortunately are not allowed to shoot through anything. So just be ready. And you need to hurry your butt over. So, get moving. Okay. If we come across on the other side here, we do see, actually, a couple guys. Paranoia. Two of them. Well, this guy's easy enough to kill. So that solves that problem. Ah. Well, Okay. The nightmares are not very bright. I'm gonna be honest, they're not very bright. Well, scoot over. Take him out. Really? Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. No cover. Oh. <sighs> In order to make sure Solomon Delir's life is safe, we must kill everyone. Good job. 
Well, I think right here. Right here will give you a chance to take a pot shot at this guy. Good job. Let's go ahead and move all the way up to here. I think we'll be okay. No problem there. Absolutely no problem there. In fact, you're pretty much just screwed, so I'll move up a little bit and ensure your death. Good job. <laughs> Get to the other side. I'm sure we'll need to be here. Take a reload. Because the golden bullet shouldn't need to be triggered right now. Solomon Delir. Closer. Good. And we'll just move on up. Make sure everyone's all nice and together. Protecting Delir. This is a very different type of campaign than with that we've been used to. Wish we could do this side, but okay. What pops up next? Another mystery. Why did the asylum patients relapse after returning home? The solemn voice intoned that there were too many unknowns. I would agree with that. There are too many unknowns. Because it doesn't make any sense. Other than, like, if they were on some sort of drug. Or if the water in the region's poisoned. That would make sense. And that the church gets access to a different set of water than everyone else, perhaps. I'm not sure. I think you need to just stay put. You can move. Oh, sneeze. Oh, the sneeze, though. Alright, Solomon Delir. We can grab the last one right now. No more enemies? Oh, here's one. The old man had said that a comet appeared the night the madness started. Realization thrilled through him. Delir was ready to make his conclusions. He knew that certain physical substances like mercury could cause madness. If that were true, then the plague could have a physical source. What if the comet had become a meteor? Could that be the cause of all this? The maze receded from view. Trimmercliff's voice faded, distant, but satisfied. Well, there you go. A physical source. Potentially. Potentially. A flash of light and excited shouting woke Solomon from the nightmare. It took him a moment to regain his bearings. One of the persons shouted they discovered a cache of gold under the station floor. Solomon, however, could think of nothing but the source of the madness. He was now convinced the meteor had crashed somewhere in these lands. He needed to find out where. But first, he would need to make sure he had the right tools in his workshop. Solomon didn't get any rest that night. The nightmare he'd had at the telegraph station weighed heavily on his mind. He worried he might have taken the first step toward madness. Well, for now, that will do it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Best thing you can do for the channel is to share the video on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Thank you to Amphith for being a Patreon supporter. And I'll see you guys all next time with more Hard West. Solomon misheard things and experienced hallucinations. Had the madness come for him? Then, in a fit of raw inspiration, he created another blueprint. Psychosis. Great. We are now affected by psychosis. Well, we'll hammer out a couple more engineering blueprints. Nail bomb in the ocular. And a bulletproof vest. Here you go. That's pretty good. That's all we got? That's all we got. Piercing ammo. Petrification bolts. Nice. Well, next time we'll see about going to the clock. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you then at DFTBA.